ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव फिनिश्ड एक्सरसाइज 1.4 ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू नो सम मोर कॉन्सेप्ट्स बिफोर एक्सरसाइज 1.5 लेट अस सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ अ सेट व्हाट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट इन रोस्टर फॉर्म सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म देन इन वेन डायग्राम ओके लाइक दैट वी विल सी and we will do exercise 1.5 also in this video itself okay okay see what is complement of a set before going to complement of set let us do some analysis what we have learnt earlier from that concept only this complement will come you see here whatever may be we may take u as universal set okay this we already know say 1 2 3 4 5 This is universal set. Say A is a subset of universal set. Then A is equal to say two or three. Two or three is there. A set having two and three as elements. Universal set is having one, two, three, four, five as elements. Okay. Now if you do, if you do U minus A. This difference of sets we already uh, seen in the last class. Difference of sets. U minus A. What it comes? One is there? No. Then you take two is there? Yes. Don't take three is there? Yes. Don't take four is there? No. Take five is there? No. Take this is U minus A. Okay. See, naturally, U minus A. If you compare with A. Both are disjoints. You see, one is there here, not there. Two is there here, not there. Four is there here, not there. Three is there here, not there. Five is there here, not there. That means both are disjoints. U minus A set and A set. Okay, the set U minus A is called complement. This is called complement. Complement of A. See, I am writing like this. Complement. Of set A or A set complement or simply A dash. See, these are orally you have to call, but representation is this only. Complement of set A, A set complement, A complement. Set you call or don't call, A complement. Or simply a dash, a dash. You have to call a dash, but uh, writing is this only. Okay, this is the complement. This is the complement of set A. If you see, without universal set, complement don't come. That is the main criteria. Even if A make a difference of set with some other set, that is not going to be called as complement. And the universal set gives a complement of those sets for all sets. See now here A is there. Even if B is say one and five, B dash complement of set B, B dash. I am calling B dash complement of set B is equal to U minus B. One is there, there don't take. Two is there, no take. Three is there, not there take. Four is there, not there take. Five is there, there don't take. This is called complement of set B. Complement of set B. Complement of set B. Complement of set A. Complement of set A. Both are different. But even if you do B minus A, this is not a complement. Why because for complement you have to make difference with the universal set only. That means without universal set you don't get the complements. Okay. Some properties also we see complement properties. Uh, or else uh, say De Morgan laws are there. These are sim simple complements. Uh, single set complements. Uh, Uh, De Morgan law says A union B complement. 
ये इंटरसेक्शन भी कॉम्प्लीमेंट है दोज कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑल्सो वो विल सी ओके Let us see complement in set builder form and Venn diagram also. Why? Because uh, complement in roster form we have seen. Complement in set builder form we have not seen and uh, Venn diagram also we have not seen. Complement how we have to write? Uh, say for complement A dash is equal to x belongs to universal set U and x does not belongs to A. This is the complement of A. Set A. Here A means capital A set A. That's all. Okay. Complement of set A or A dash is equal to for all values of x, x belongs to U. X belongs to U. This is very important. Okay. X belongs to U and X does not belong to A. A complement does not belong to A. B complement does not belong to B. If your C dash comes, automatically here C will come. X belongs to universal set and X does not belong to C. Like that it will come if C dash. Okay. This is the representation of uh, complement in set builder form. Then uh, we see uh, Venn diagram also. Venn diagram also we see. Then we go for properties. Or be more than last. Okay. See Venn diagram how I am drawing. See, this is the complement of set A Venn diagram. If you see, normally we represent a rectangle as universal set, circle as a set. Okay, A is a set as a circle, U is a universal set. You see, except this A circle, all portion has been shaded. That means in universal set, except set U minus A, all will go to be called as A dash. Complement of A. This is the Venn diagram for uh, universal set. We go for uh, De Morgan laws and uh, then we go for properties also. Okay. Okay, see these two laws are called De Morgan's laws. De Morgan's laws very important and several times it will come uh, for our exercises and all. You see, De Morgan's laws are for combination of uh, sets, complement of combination of sets. See, combination means what here? A union B complement. Complement of A union B is equal to intersection of complements of a and this b okay this is the definition and uh, intersection of a a and b complement of intersection of a and b is equal to union of complements of a and b 
ए यूनियन बी इन साइड ए यूनियन बी इज देयर आउट साइड ए इंटरसेक्शन बी विल कम दैट मींस ए यूनियन बी होल डैश इज इक्वल टू ए डैश इंटरसेक्शन बी डैश इन साइड ए इंटरसेक्शन बी होल डैश इज देयर मींस ए डैश यूनियन बी डैश हियर यूनियन विल कम इंटरसेक्शन यूनियन यूनियन इंटरसेक्शन लाइक दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर यू आर स्प्लिटिंग हियर कॉम्बिनेशन इज देयर ए यूनियन बी हियर यू आर स्प्लिटिंग आउटसाइड ओके दैट मींस यू आर रिमूविंग द ब्रैकेट सी दिस डैश Our complement is for whole. Okay, ah, uh, we we take one or two examples. Anyway, we are going for exercise after properties. Then we can uh, understand. Okay, ah, uh, okay. We will see properties also. Let us see properties after properties. Then we we'll go for exercise. Okay, see these properties. After seeing these properties, then we we'll go for exercise also. The first property, if you see, a union a dash is equal to u. Okay, I have already shown you, a is different, a dash is different. Both are disjoint sets. Both have come from universal set only. See, in a dash are com in complement of set a, except a remaining all elements which are available in universal set will be available. Then, if you do union of this a and a dash, our union. Of a and the complement of a, then you are going to get universal set only. For this, we need not uh, go further than that much uh, proof. Okay, already we have seen. A intersection a dash. This also I have explained to you. A and a dash both are disjoint sets. Whatever the element is there in a, that is not available in a dash or complement set. That is why both are disjoint sets. If you do intersection of disjoint sets, automatically phi will come. These two laws are called complement law. Okay, see, these are you may remember, you may you may not remember. That is not important. But these should be you remember. Left side. Okay, what it is called and all that is different thing. But uh, you have to remember in your mind uh, these these laws, not names. Laws are very important. In examination, they don't call right De Morgan's law. Are right complement la, but they give this. You have to answer. De Morgan's law. Now itself we have studied a union b whole dash is equal to a dash intersection b dash. A intersection b whole dash is equal to a dash union b dash. De Morgan's law. Okay. Okay. Now you see a dash whole dash is equal to a. Ah, this we will see once. Why? Because this already we have seen. So again, I am taking universal set as one, two, three, four. A as two and four. A dash is equal to what will become? One is there, not there. Take two is there, yes, don't take. Three is there, not there. Take four is there, yes, don't take. This has become A dash. You see. A and A dash. If you make union, automatically one, two, three, four universal set will come. This this rule. A intersection A dash. If you do intersection, no common element is there. Five will come. Okay, this proof. A union. Uh, this we will do afterwards. Okay, uh, with bigger uh, problem and all. Okay. Why? Because here another set also we have to take. Now we come to this one, third one. A dash whole dash. That means you have made complement. Again, you are going to make that complement of complement, double complement, lap double complement. Again, it is going to do a only. You see here, a dash is there. I am what I am going to make a dash whole dash. That means u minus a dash. U minus a dash. One is there, there. Don't take two is there, not there. Take three is there, there. Don't take four is there, not there. Take What it has become two four is a only again it has come a. Okay, this is the proof for double complement of uh, any set. May not be a b or what it may be b dash whole b dash is equal to b c dash whole c dash is equal to c dash whole dash is equal to c. This is law of double complement. Okay, now you come to here. What is phi dash? See, complement means you have to deduct it from universal set only. That is the fundamental rule. 
कॉम्प्लीमेंट इफ यू मेक डिफरेंस विथ यूनिवर्सल सेट देन ओनली कॉम्प्लीमेंट विल कम विदउट यूनिवर्सल सेट देर इज नो कॉम्प्लीमेंट फाइव डैश मीन्स यू माइनस फाइव फाइव डैश इज इक्वल टू यू माइनस फाइव सी इज देर एनीथिंग इन फाइव डिफरेंस ऑफ सेट हियर वन टू थ्री फोर इज देयर देन वन टू थ्री फोर माइनस यम टी सेट ऑटोमेटिकली वन टू थ्री फोर ओनली विल कम वाई वी कॉल वाट एवर द एलिमेंट नॉट देर इन सेकेंड सेट दैट विल कम इन डिफरेंस ओके देन वन टू थ्री इयर इज देर इयर एम टी इज देर वन इज देर नॉट देर टेक टू इज देर नॉट देर टेक थ्री इज देर नॉट लाइक दैट ऑल यू विल कम अगेन हियर दैट इज वाई फाइव डैश इज इक्वल टू यू दिस इज कॉल्ड लाफ एम टी सेट एंड यूनिवर्सल सेट बट यू बिफोर दैट यू सी दिस ऑल्सो यू डैश सी यू आर मेकिंग डिफरेंस विथ यूनिवर्सल सेट फॉर एवरी रिमेनिंग सेट फॉर सेट ए आर सेट बी आर सेट सी what if we want to make u dash you know a complement of universal set complement of universal set is a u dash is equal to u minus u because this is standard u and this is this u you are making complement u minus u what it will come a minus a phi b minus b phi c minus c phi u minus u phi U dash is equal to five. This is called law of universal set and empty set. These both laws. Why? Because here universal set and five will come. Universal set and empty set will come. That is why law of universal set and empty set. This law is going to be called such that. Okay. Now what we do? We go for exercise one point five. Whatever the concepts I have explained to you, now those will be very clear to you. Okay. 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 See exercise one point five. Let us do these exercises automatically. All concepts, whatever I have told now, those are going to be clear. Let universal set having elements one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Set A is having one, two, three, four elements. Set B is having two, four, six, eight elements. Set C is having three, four, five, six as elements. Find one by one. We do. First, a complement is asking. A complements means what we know. U minus a. Okay. Ah, now we see here what u a is there, one is there, one is there. They don't take two is there. They don't take three is there. They don't take four is there. They don't take five. Not there. Five not there. Six not there. Seven not there. Eight not there. Nine not there. This is called a complement. A complement or a dash. See these elements will not match with A. Both are different, disjoint. Okay. Now you come for B dash U minus B. Okay. Okay B. One is there, not there. Take one. Two is there. Three not there. Four is there. Five not there. Six is there. Seven not there. Eight is there. Nine not there. Okay. This is called complement of B. Complement of B. U minus B. Okay. This is the that set. Okay. Now you see A union C complement or complement of A union C or A union C dash. Okay. For this, see this is De Morgan law. We we'll do two types. First we do U A union C, then make complement and separately also we will make uh, like formula. We already know formula. A dash intersection C dash. Here union is there. Here intersection will come. We do in two portions. First I will do A union C whole dash. Then again I will do A dash intersection C dash. Two portions I am going to do. Okay. Now you see A union C first you do A union C is equal to A you fill fill all A one two three four. Then you fill all C three already there four already there five six okay this is A union C now what I am going to do A union C whole dash complement of A union C this is A union C this is complement of A union C then from universal set this to be detected difference one is there leave it two is there three is there four is there five is there six is there. Seven not there, eight not there, nine not there. These elements you have to take. That means both sets are disjoints. See, A union C and A union C dash will be disjoint. 
ए एंड ए डैश विल बी डिसजॉइंट ओके यू सी बोथ आर डिसजॉइंट ओके नाउ यू कम हियर आई एम गोइंग टू डू ए डैश एंड सी डैश ए डैश ऑलरेडी आई एम हैविंग देन आई टेक ओनली सी डैश सी डैश ओके सी इज थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स वन टू विल कम वाई बिकॉज वन टू नॉट देयर इन सी थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स आर देयर सेवन एट नाइन विल कम सेवन एट नाइन ओके सी डैश मीन्स u minus c okay now what i am going to do i am having a dash here a dash and i am having c dash i will make intersection a dash intersection c dash okay i am making intersection of this set and this set this is a dash this is c dash okay 5 is there not there 6 is there not there 7 is there yes there 8 is there yes there 9 is there yes there you see A union C dash is equal to A dash intersection C dash. Seven eight nine seven eight nine. This is proof for one De Morgan law. A union C dash. We will see A intersection C B dash also in this problem only that proof. Okay. Now we have finished the third part of the first problem. We go for fourth part and now. See fourth part. What is asking again? Union only asking. Earlier we have done A union C dash. Here he is asking A union B dash. Okay. Only one we do, don't do two. Why? Because union has come. Intersection comes means for proof we do two. A, a intersection B whole dash and A dash union B dash. That we will do. But here only one we do. Why? Because in last third part we have already done this. Okay. Okay. You see A union B. What you are going to say? A union B is equal to say one, two, three, four. Then in B two, four already available. Six, eight. Now I am going to do A union B dash. Okay. U one is there, two is there, three is there, four is there, five not there, six is there, seven not there, eight is there, nine not there. This is A union B dash complement. You see, both are disjoints. These elements do not match. Okay. Like that, we have to say A union B and A union complement of A union B. See, do we require to do here? Proof we already seen, but even then we do again. Why? Because a dash u whole dash is equal to a. How a dash is equal to say one two three four is there? Then five six seven eight nine. Okay, both are disjoint. Then again I am making u minus a dash. One is there, not there. Take. Two is there, not there. Take. Three not there, four not there, five, six, seven, eight not are there. Then you see both are disjoints. Okay, right? but finally what it has come? One, two, three, four. A only it has come. A, A, A dash whole dash. Complement of complement of set A is equal to A. Okay, now we see B minus C dash. First we have to do B minus C. B minus C. Two is there, not there. Take four is there, there. Don't take six is there. Hey, there. Don't take two, four. Two have to take. Four should not take. Six should not take. Eight you should take. This is B minus C. <coughs> okay, these should be available in B, but should not be available in C. Now we do B minus C dash. B minus C dash. Our complement of B minus C. See complement of B minus C. This B minus C sector should be made difference with U. One is there, not there. Take. Two is there. Don't take. Three, not there. Four, not there. Five, not there. Six, not there. Seven, not there. Eight is there. Nine, not there. This is B minus C. Complement or B minus C dash. Okay, like this we have to do these problems. Okay, now we go for second problem. See question number two. What he has given? If U universal set contains A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H as elements, find the complement of set A, set B, set C, set D. We have to find complements, but set A he has given, A, B, C he has given. Okay. Now let us write a dash 
complement a is equal to u minus a okay a is there there don't take b is there there don't take c is there there then you take d e f g h Okay, earlier they have given numbers as elements, now they have given alphabets as elements. Why? Because you have to be thorough with all this. Alpha numeric. B. Complement of B is equal to U minus B. Okay. Okay. A is not there. D is not there. C is not there. D is there. E is there. F is there. G is there. H is not there. This is the complement of B. Okay. Now we go for C. C dash is equal to U minus C. Universal set minus C. A is there. Yes. B not there. C is there. D not there. E is there. F not there. G is there. H not there. This is complement of set C. We do D also. D dash is equal to U minus D. Okay. Okay. See, A is there, but he has written in a last. That is why you, A you don't take. B, C, D, E also you have to take. F is there, G is there, H is there, A is there. B, C, D, E, F. B, C, D, E. This is complement of set d or d dash okay okay now we finish the second problem we go for third problem okay see the question number three what is asking taking a set of natural numbers as universal set that means here universal set is n but he has not given any limit complete set up to infinity universal set you have the sorry natural numbers you have to set take as a universal set write the complement of the following that means a set builder form he has given we can write in roster form also there is no wrong see this set first you convert in roster form afterwards you make complement that means a dash take this as a this as b this as c this as d as you like okay r x y z whatever it may be you can take but don't take x y because inside x is there you take some other p q r s or something like r s that also you can write even uh, see writing in uh, roster form is very easy. I am writing in set builder form. You see how I am writing in set builder form. Okay. For all values of x, x is an even natural number. Even natural number complement is what? Odd natural number. That's all. Why? Because see, those should be natural numbers only. All these complement and original set both is subset of universal set. Here some other number will not come. Here integers will not come. Why? Because universal set is having natural numbers. You have to do natural numbers only. Complement. Okay. See how I am writing answer. For all values of x, x is an odd natural number. Odd and even both are complemented. If you make one set with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 3, 5, odd natural number, 2, 4, 6, even natural number, both are different, both are disjoints, okay? This is uh, answer for first part, first part of third question. We see second part also, for all values of x, x is an odd natural number, same story here also, you can write for all values of x, x is an even natural number number that's all okay here odd natural will come here even natural will come both are different complement see this one what he has written for all values of x x is a positive multiple of three see natural numbers all are positive he need not write but see you are making set uh, by considering some other set as universal set, that means you will be under that universal set limits only. Whatever you are writing here, all are natural numbers only. That is a fundamental criteria. Without you, universal set complement will not come. For writing complement, that the another set should be definitely subset of universal set. Okay. Positive multiple of 3. Positive multiple of 3 means what? 3 table. 3, 6, 9, 12 like that. 
but in our set those three six nine twelve should not come but those in that set three six nine twelve have come like that here three six nine twelve should not come how we have to write we will write you see for all values of x x belongs to n x is not a multiple of three Is it correct? You see, here multiple of three will come. Here not a multiple of three will come. All natural numbers are going to come. Okay, this is answer for this third question. Uh, we see this also. Okay, fourth part. What he has mentioned for all values of x, x is a prime number. You know, prime number except two remaining all are odd numbers only. But don't take all odd numbers. Prime numbers are different. Two, three, five, seven, then eleven. Then thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, twenty-nine. Okay, like that prime numbers will come. Then what to write a complement of those prime numbers? You cannot write, but see roster form you may write up to certain numbers. But for set builder form, how to write? You see, for all values of x, x belongs to n. X is not a prime number. Is it okay? You see, you have to write n only, but uh, those should not be prime numbers. Why? Because prime number set uh, already there. Complement you have to write. Both should be disjoint. Okay. With this, we have completed fourth part of third question. We go for five, six. Okay. We see next part, fifth part of third question. For all values of x, x is a natural number divisible by three and five. If you observe clearly in, in uh, roster from what will come should be natural number and should be divisible by three and five. First one two will not come. Three will come. Why because divisible by three. Then four will not come. Five will come divisible by five. Then six will come divisible by three. Then seven will not come. Eight will not come. Nine will come divisible by three. Ten will come. Eleven will not come. Twelve will come divisible by three. Thirteen will not come. Fourteen will not come. Fifteen will come divisible by three. Five. Sorry. 15 divisible by 3 and 5 both okay like that uh, roster form set will come uh, if you make that set uh, roster form in roster form complement you can make easily but how we are going to make in uh, set builder form that also we will see okay okay see for all values of x x belongs to n okay and uh, x is not divisible by 3 and 5 Is it correct? You see, why? Because here natural numbers only, but divisible by three and five will come. Here natural numbers only, but divisible not divisible by three and five will come. These two sets are disjoint sets. Complement is two disjoint. You have to take. Okay. X is a perfect square. This also you see. For all values of x, x belongs to n. X is not perfect square. Is it correct? Okay. See here, perfect squares will come. Here, perfect squares will not come. Rather than perfect square, remaining uh, natural numbers will come. Here, you see, perfect cube. Same story. Like this only you can write. X belongs to n. X is not perfect cube. Sorry. X is not perfect. X is perfect cube. X is not perfect cube. Complement. Okay, all belongs to natural number only. Okay, come here. Here, see X. He has given X value. He has given uh, like uh, this formula. You see, X plus five is equal to eight means X is equal to eight minus five. That is equal to three. That means in this set, uh, the element three only is there. Nothing is there. Complement is what when compared to universal set except three all elements should come in complement set. That means for all values of x, x belongs to n. X is not equal to three. That means for all values means all values will come except three. X not equal to three. That means one, two, four, five, six, seven all up to infinity. Okay. This is answer for this 
एथ पार्ट आफ दि थर्ड क्वेश्चन ओके सी द नाइन्थ पार्ट आफ द थर्ड क्वेश्चन फॉर आल वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एक्स टू एक्स प्लस फाइव इज इक्वल टू नाइन हियर आलो एक्स ओनली वन वैल्यू विल बी देर ओनली वन एलिमेंट यू सी हाउ आई एम रईटिंग हियर सी टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन मैनस फाइव दट इज इक्वल टू फोर ओके x is equal to four by two. That is equal to two. That means here element two is there. Complement means all elements except two. For all values of x, x belongs to n, comma, x is not equal to not. X is not equal to two. Like this, you can write. Okay. Except two, all will come. Is it said why? Because here two is there. Okay. Now see here this also. X is greater than or equal to seven. That means in natural numbers, greater than or seven means seven equal to is there. Seven will come, eight will come, nine will come, continuously. Okay. In this set, complement complement one to six will come. But because see complement of this set means here seven onwards all are available, then below seven you have to take. How you are taking for all values of x, x belongs to n comma x is less than seven. Is it correct? But because here x is greater than or equal to seven, here x is less than seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only how to take seven? You should not take. Why? Because equal to symbol is not there here. This is answer for this tenth part. See this also. For all values of x, x belongs to n natural number. Two x plus one is greater than ten. This is greater than ten. Okay. Okay. First to uh, see this logical statement side by side, then we go for answer. Why? Because here also uh, maybe they are like this. Several. Uh, Elements may be there inside, but what elements are there? We have to solve the equation, not equation, inequation, inequation. Uh, inequalities are there in our uh, syllabus. Why? Because equal to is there equation, equal to not there, but uh, x and uh, some um, constants, coefficients, and uh, are there. Then that is going to be called as inequation. Okay. Let us solve this here. See, two x plus one is greater than ten. They are writing. What I am doing? Both side I am deducting one. Why? Because I want two x here. Minus one, minus one. Two x is greater than nine. Why? Because here minus one means one will go. Here minus one means nine will come. Then x is greater than nine by two. Is it correct? I have made division of two here. Division of two here. That means x value approximately how much it is coming? Four point five. Greater than four point five. Actually nine by two is four point five. X is having greater than nine point nine by two means more than four point five. But four point five is not a natural number. What is there? Five. That means five and all all will come in this set. Okay. Here we have not made equal to equal to means only five will come. But here not made equal to greater than you have made. That means here five, six, seven, eight, nine like this all will come. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, like that, all in this set. But in our set, before five, one, two, three, four only should come. If you make in roster from one, two, three, four, that is correct answer. No marks will be deducted. But even then, we do in sub uh, sorry set builder form. For all values of x, x belongs to n. X is less than nine by two. Is it correct? Why? Because here greater than is there. Here less than will come. Complement. Greater than complement less than. Less than complement greater than. Okay. This is a, for all values of x. X belongs to n and x is less than nine by two. X is nine by two means one will come, two will come, three will come, four also will come. See five don't come. Why? Because five is going to become greater than nine by two. Okay. With this we have finished the third question. We go. For, okay. See the fourth question. What they have written? If universal set contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
ए कंटेन्स टू फोर सिक्स एट सेट बी कंटेन्स टू थ्री फाइव सेवन वेरीफाइड डी मोर्गन लास्ट डी मोर्गन लास्ट देव नॉट रिटर्न बट दे आर आस्किंग अस टू वेरीफाई दिस लास्ट टू दिस आर डी मोर्गन लास्ट ओनली ओके हियर वी हैव गार्ड द चांस टू वेरीफाई द ट्रूथ ऑफ डी मोर्गन लास्ट लेट अस सी व्हाई बिकॉज़ सी टू पोर्शंस वी विल डू दिस टू प्रॉब्लम ओके फर्स्ट वी डू ए यूनियन बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट देन वी डू सेपरेटली ए इंटरसेक्शन एंड ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इंटरसेक्शन बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट ओके सो दैट वी कैन फाइंड ओके Let us do first A union B. A union B means you take all elements from A and B. Two you take, three you take, four you take, five you take, six you take, seven you take, eight. Why? Because two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All you have to take union. Okay. Now I am doing A union B complement. Ah, A union B there. U minus A union B. One is there, not there. Two is there, three is there, four is there, five is there, six is there, seven is there, eight is there, nine. This is A union B complement answer. Let us see, same answer will come or not here. Finally, A A complement. A complement means what? One, two should two should not take. Three, four should not take. Five, six should not take. Seven, eight should not take. Nine. Okay, now we take B dash or B complement. Okay, B complement is one will come, two will not come, three will not come, four yes will come, five should not come, six will come, seven should not come, eight will come, nine will come. This is B complement or B dash. Let us see now uh, A dash intersection B dash. What are the common elements in both? ओके वन इज देयर एज कॉमन आई एम सीइंग 3 नॉट देयर 4 नॉट देयर 6 नॉट देयर 5 नॉट देयर 7 नॉट देयर 8 नॉट देयर 9 इज देयर यू सी बोथ आर इक्वल ना 1 9 1 9 हाउ ओके दिस प्रूफ ए यूनियन बी डैश इन सम अदर प्रॉब्लम्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी यू हैव टू डू इवन देन नाउ अगेन ही इज आस्किंग अस देन यू हैव टू मेक ओके लेट फर्स्ट वी डू ए इंटरसेक्शन बी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी ओके ए इंटरसेक्शन बी ए एंड बी व्हाट आर कॉमन टू इज देयर थ्री फोर सिक्स सेवन एट नो नथिंग इज देयर ओनली टू ए इंटरसेक्शन बी देन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी डैश मींस इन यूनिवर्सल सेट एक्सेप्ट टू ऑल विल कम वन थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन इज इट करेक्ट Why? Because A intersection B is two only. Okay, this is correct. We go for this one. A dash union B dash. See A dash B dash already available with us. Okay, okay. Then A dash union B dash is equal to. You see, A dash union B dash means all you have to uh, combine. One is the three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Because union you are making. Are these same? Then De Morgan la proved. Okay. We have finished the fourth question also. Let us go for fifth. See the fifth question. Fifth question. Draw the appropriate Venn diagrams of the following sets. One, two, three, four questions they have given, but if you observe, one and two are same questions. Why? Because as per De Morgan law, A union B whole dash is equal to A dash intersection B dash. Okay, both are same here also. A intersection B whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. Okay, when diagram how it comes under you see here. See, this is A union B, but A union B dash you have you want. A union B dash means except A union B, all you have to take in universal set the shaded portion. This is called A union B dash. Okay, A union B you should not take. Why? Because shaded portion you have to take. Shading weight we have done. Remaining all universal set we have shaded except A union B. Okay, this is A union B dash Venn diagram. If you come to this, sir, A intersection B dash means except A intersection B all you have to take. That means A minus B also, B minus A also you have to take here. You know, I have already told A intersection B, A minus B, B minus A. A minus B, B minus A, all remaining portion in the universal set you have to take except A intersection B. A intersection B should be omitted from universal set. Okay. 
This is a Venn diagram for A intersection B dash. Okay. We go for the sixth question. Okay. See the sixth question. What he is asking? You have to understand this question carefully. Let U be the set of all triangles in a plane. Okay. We know all triangles means what are all things? Scalene triangle will come. Rectangle triangle will come. Sorry, right angle triangle will come. Uh, equilateral triangle will come, isosceles triangle will come. Okay, this is the set of all triangles. So one side, all triangles set he has made. A set, A set, what contains he is explaining. If A is the set of all triangles with at least one angle different from 60 degree, A set, all triangles, one, one, uh, at least one uh, angle different from 60 degree set we have made. What is the complement of A is asking? Complement of A, how you have to write it? Okay. Before understanding this, you see equilateral triangle is having all 60 degrees. 60, 60, 60. Okay. What is going to ask? Uh, at least one is not 60 degrees automatically. That is not going to become equilateral triangle. Remaining all triangle will be there in that A set. That means in set a, a dash set what it will come all angles should be 60 degree okay answer is set of equilateral triangles set of equilateral triangles you understand the concept why because complement you have to take like this only complement uh, concept you have to take complement okay here numbers are not there Okay, what is asking? At least 60 degrees. Okay, see the seventh question, fill in the blanks like that he has told you here, blanks are there like you treat and uh, we go for, proceed, we will proceed, okay. A union A dash, I already told you. A, A dash, A set A and complement of set A, both are going to become subset of universal set only. If you combine these, if you make union of these sets, automatically universal set will come, okay. Answer is universal set U. We need to give any explanation we have already seen several times. Okay. Phi dash. Come here, phi dash. What is phi dash? Phi dash also have told properties in properties. Phi dash means u minus phi. Automatically u only will come. Now phi nothing will be there. Then u only will come. That means this this is going to become u intersection a. If u intersection a automatically a will come. Why? Because universal set is bigger when you are making intersection with any other set, that set is going to become the answer. Okay. A intersection, A dash, both are disjoints, phi, that's all. Okay, several times you have seen. A and complement of A, both are disjoint. If you make intersection of disjoints, answer will be empty set, phi. U dash intersection A. U dash also have told you. U dash means what will come? U minus U that is equal to phi. Nothing will be there. Here this is phi intersection A. Again same. Phi intersection A. Phi intersection A means what? Nothing is there. Empty set only will come. Na? Why? Because see you are making intersection with empty set. Empty set. If you make intersection, empty set only will be the answer. If you make union of empty set, that set will be the answer. But here intersection we are making. Okay. So we have finished exercise 1.5 also. We go for 1.6 uh, concepts. If uh, that is small, then we will do exercise also in that video only. If that is bigger, then we will make 1.6a, 1.6b. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much.